Welcome to Credit Matters. I am Larry Whitty, Senior Director with S&P Global Fixed Income Research. S&P Global Ratings maintain 870 U.S. public finance ratings in New Jersey as of April 19, 2017, 87% of which are in the local and state government area, categorized as tax-secured 70% or appropriation-backed 17%. Of all the ratings, 81% are in the A category and higher, and 62% are in the AA category and higher. 7% of New Jersey ratings are AAA, including 50 tax secured ratings, 4 higher education, 3 appropriation ratings, and 1 utility rating. The tax secured category represents 95 of the 102 AA plus ratings. There are 11 ratings below triple B minus speculative grade. Four of these are charter schools, three are tax secured, and one each is housing, utility, and healthcare. The downgrade of New Jersey's issued credit rating to A minus from A on November the 14th, 2016 affected 133 ratings. The corresponding drop in 132 appropriation ratings to triple B plus from A minus reduced the percentage of ratings in the state in the A category or higher to 81% from 95% in 2016. The total number of downgrades was 153, compared to 37 upgrades throughout the state, resulting in an upgrade to downgrade ratio of 0.24 to 1. Considering the state downgrade as one action reduces the number of downgrades to 21, which computes to 1.76 upgrades for every downgrade. This is higher than the ratio of 1.25 upgrades for each downgrade for U.S. public finance as a whole. The most common rating event was a downgrade of one notch for financial reasons, which occurred 142 times, including the 133 separate rating actions for the downgrade of the New Jersey issuer credit rating. Rating actions resulting from economic factors were all positive, 10 upgrades. 56 different entities had rating cha ratings changed in 2016, including Atlantic City on three separate occasions to double C from B. Atlantic City was also downgraded twice in 2015, but the rating was raised to triple C in March 2017. 18% of the ratings in New Jersey have negative outlooks versus 1% with positive outlooks, but the negative outlook on the state affects 136 of 156 ratings with negative outlooks in New Jersey. Four ratings associated with Atlantic City have negative outlooks, including that of the city itself. Tax secure ratings have five positive and 21 negative outlooks out of 605 total ratings. Healthcare has a strong positive bias with seven positive outlooks compared with six stable outlooks. Charter schools have three negative outlooks and one stable outlook. Despite a strong positive economic influence on New Jersey ratings in 2016, economic factors may be less supportive in 2017. IHS projects real gross state product growth of 1.7% in 2017, slowing to 1.4% in 2020. This is slower growth than for the United States as a whole. For more information, please read our 2017 snapshot for New Jersey on Ratings Direct, and thank you for watching.